Hey guys, it's me. So I'm doing my first YouTube video. You guys know, probably noticed all of the videos on our YouTube channel is gone, are gone. Um, Cause I wanna kind of update a lot of the videos that we had um, on there before because they were really old and a lot of things have changed. Um, so I'm trying to do a quick video on how to make sofrito as our first cooking video. So um, very simple, very easy. You can do this at home. I use my um, old uh, Cuisinart food processor. You can use a blender. So you gotta excuse the angle here because I'm trying to get you guys to see what I am putting inside the Cuisinart as I'm doing it. So I make a lot of sofrito. I freeze some of it and so what I do is I have a jar that I keep in a fridge um, where I'm just gonna drop the stuff as I'm making it. I cut corners. Um, I use pre-peeled garlic because I hate peeling garlic. That's one of my biggest pet peeves is peeling garlic. It's a waste of time when you can buy it already um, pre-done. And you can pick that up at any grocery store in the vegetable section. Um, you can just go ahead and pick up a container of pre-peeled garlic. This is the base of what your sofrito is, is going to be made for. And this you can use in your soups, your rice, your you can uh, marinate your meats in it. You can put it as a side sauce. You can use it for just about anything. This is the main base of what Puerto Rican foods are made with. So frito, simple, all right? So what I use is garlic, um, salad olives with the um, pimientos in it, and you can use the one also that has the little papers too if you want a little extra flavor. Um, I have everything in my sink, which is clean by the way, because I have my, my most favorite colander in the world. I'll show you guys. Um, it's a flat colander and you can also chop on there, which I think is great. And I got that at um, Home Goods for like, I don't know, it was like $5, some ridiculously low amount of money. But we're gonna go with the olives, it's a jar of olives, a container of pre-peeled garlic. If you're gonna peel your own, I would say probably about six heads of garlic, maybe. Two green peppers, this is what I use. Everybody makes their sofrito different, but this is what I use, two green peppers. Um, a large onion, sometimes two, depending. I'm gonna use one for now. Uh, a bunch of cilantro. And when you get cilantro, make sure that you're getting something somewhat organic. It should smell like cilantro, because sometimes you go to the store and you go and you buy um, the cilantro and it has no smell to it at all. I don't buy that kind of cilantro. There, to me, there's something wrong with it. There should be a scent to your cilantro. And I also put culantro in it, which is a broad leaf. And this is a little bit harder to find. So if you can't find it, this is what it looks like. If you can't find culantro, you can usually find it at a bodega. I know a lot of people don't have bodegas near their homes. Um, you don't have to use it. I use it because I like the flavor of it. So basically, what I do is I prep my, if I remember how to put the, the lid on this, I prep this and the first thing I do is, oh, you're also gonna use olive oil and you can add salt and pepper to it ahead of time or you can omit the salt and pepper and you can season your food as you're cooking it. So I add some of the garlic to the cuisinart, pretty simple. And I just get it going and start adding olive oil to it. And you wanna make 
make it into basically a paste is what you're doing. So I start with the garlic and this will get full and as it gets full I start to empty it out into my container which is why I have a big container. You can use a, um, a, a big pot to put everything in. You can make a small amount too if you don't want to use the bigger amount. I tend to save these jars because I'll reuse them to freeze the sofrito in as I'm done with it. So. so I chop up that, I add a little bit more. I don't really measure stuff. So it's kind of hard for me to really give measurements on this. Um, to go with it then I'm gonna add this but what I do you can strain it out but I actually like to use some of the water so I'm gonna just pour some of the water in here also adds a little bit of extra flavor to it and then I'm just gonna dump out the rest probably about half of the jar to start with. I'll end up using the entire jar. Um, just again, because I make a lot of sofrito. And it's because I typically, you know, the kids kind of pick up um, sofrito and my I send some to my in-laws. So. So the water from the um, olives is going to just add a little extra moisture to your mix. You don't need it to be too watery, but you don't want it to be This is from me using, uh, making uh, agua de jamaica, basically, which I'll do on another recipe. That's why that spoon is red. But just take a spoon or a spatula. You just want to go around the sides and make sure that all of what you have in here is somewhat relatively chopped up. To the container just to make it a little bit less messy um, because this stuff will get all over the place. So just chopping up the garlic first. You want to use a wide neck um, container to put all your stuff in because it's just going to be easier. And again, this is the recipe that I use. Everybody does their stuff different. Oh, this just happens to be what I use to make mine. So the next thing I'm going to drop in there is some of my cilantro. You don't have to cut the bread, the bottoms off. You can if you want. I'm going to throw some of the garlic, some of the onion in here since we already have the garlic. And I'm going to throw some of the culantro, which is wet because I rinsed it off. Make sure you wash all of this really good. Um, you know, you don't want random shit in there. So that's where we're going here. And then again, you can chop your stuff up smaller and it's easier. If 
you're finding that your mix is getting a little bit, um, it's not kind of blending in, just add a little olive oil to it and it'll start to blend up. Um, you guys are gonna see Archer jump on me in about five seconds because he's been nicely sitting in the background. I'm gonna just add a couple of, like four, I know. You don't have to add the salt. I just add it because it makes my life easier when I go to cook. Um, I don't have to worry about adding salt. I add some pepper. Black pepper, you can use the peppercorns if you want to. Mix it down yourself like that. If not, you can just use your um, basic no frills black pepper. I use green peppers and what I do to make my life easier because I don't have a lot of counter space is that I usually have a bag that's hanging off of the drawer in the counter which is where I drop everything as I'm cutting. Um, so whatever bits I don't want to use you just drop them in there or if I'm going on my other counter which is a little bit bigger what I do is I have a um I basically have a bowl that I use for scraps. So try to get as much of the seeds as you can off. Not that big of a deal. Um, if you leave the seeds in there, just don't leave the little sticker on there because I tend to do that. starting to see this go up then I'll just start to pour it into the other jar and here's Archer my assistant um, again. your sofrito as you can tell um, this is pretty full I try not to go over that um, the little blade thing but I do have a couple pieces here that are kind of big so I'm gonna just blend this down a Putting this also into my container. This part of it is going to be a little bit more flu fluid like, you know, watery. Um, and you're going to see how much of this I just made with two bunches of cilantro, one large onion, two peppers, a can of olives, salt and pepper some culantro if you can get your hands on it again sometimes getting your hands on culantro is a little bit difficult um, this thing I don't use this that often I really only use it to make um, sofrito let me just wipe my hands before I touch my shirt so I don't smell like garlic 
and you just keep repeating this process until it's all mixed in. So, I have not done a video that's this long. Mind you, you see me cutting stuff, it's already washed. Um, I pre-washed everything before I started the video to cut time. So, and the onion I pre-peeled and cut. So you wanna do that. And again, pretty simple recipe. There's really no excuse for your food not to have any kind of flavor to it. Because this takes all of 20 minutes. I think the hardest thing is finding the, the ingredients when you're going out um, and about. So I'm gonna turn this on again and just continue putting in the different ingredients. That That's really it, guys. It's taken me from beginning to end um, about 20 minutes to make because I'm doing this video. This is the only reason why it's taken me so long to do this. But again, I just take it, put it all in my container, and I'm just gonna show you. Um, you know, then you just gotta mix it well. Once you get all your stuff made. I know a lot of people sell sofrito, you know, that don't buy it, make it yourself. You know, it's not that, that hard to make. Everybody thinks sofrito for some reason is some kind of magical recipe. It's very simple to make. You can make a ton of it. Again, I make a lot because I have children who come and um, pick up jars of it or, you know, I give it to some to my in-laws so it gets around and I usually make a batch like this once a month or so. Um, depending on how much I cook, it can last a really long time in your refrigerator. And again, it's a very freezable. You can put it in ice cube trays and freeze it in um, basically what you're gonna use. Take two cubes out. You can use it to do your um, arroz con habichuela or arroz con ganules or whatever it is you want. So the hardest part of making something though, again, is just finding the ingredients but it really isn't rocket science. Don't buy it, make it yourself. Sometimes when you make stuff, you put a little love in there and it comes out perfect. And everybody has their different recipes for sofrito. Again, it's not that hard. Use what's available. Garlic is the base, cilantro is the base, and after that, um, sorry guys, I've just got messages popping on my phone. Um, after you're done with the finding the cilantro and the garlic, everything else that you're putting in there is whatever you want to put in. I use, again, salt, pepper, garlic, onions, green peppers. Sometimes I use red peppers if I have them on hand, depending on what I have. A jar of capers, just because I'd rather have them like this in the food than actually throwing them all in there. Um, culantro, if you can get your hands on it. Again, that's a very difficult thing to find. Usually you can find it on um, in the bodegas, but they're hard to come by. So that's it, guys. That is my recipe for today. Um, have Archer over here being my assistant, and now he needs to drink water because every time I turn the water on, he has to come over here to stick his head into it. So, all right, guys, I will let you go make your sofrito. Let me know how it goes, what you think about it. Nothing in this house is made without feathers in it. So, um, yeah, you, <laughs> you come to my house, you can find feathers on everything. But that's it, guys. Very simple recipe. Do it up. Make it your own and enjoy it. Let me know if you made the recipe in the comments below what you thought about it or if you make your recipe different. I would love to find out what you use in yours. So until next time, guys. Bye.